What's up guys, it's Saul Malik back here. And today I got something really awesome to share with you guys. So today LEGO unveiled new official images of the Ultimate Collector Series Y-Wing that we're going to be receiving later this summer. Let's start things off with some of these specs. It's recommended for ages 14 and up. It includes 1,967 pieces and is going to retail for $200 US. Now the pricing here I think is a little bit weird. I think the pricing in American dollars is fine. Now I don't know whether this is a mistake or not, but usually when we get a set that retails for $200 US dollars, that same set will retail for about $230 Canadian dollars. But for some reason, the Canadian price here is listed at $280, which I think is way too much for a set like this. I am Canadian, so I have to buy all these sets in Canadian dollars. So for me, this would be pretty bad and would kind of make this set not worth it. Taking a look at the actual set here, I kind of think this set was a little bit unnecessary. I don't know how many people actually wanted to get a set like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Y-Wing is an amazing vehicle. It's just that we've already gotten the Y-Wing in Ultimate Collector Series form before, all the way back in 2004, which I know is a long time ago. But we also got a regular minifig scale model a couple years ago with the Rogue One sets. And while this model does look extremely accurate and extremely detailed to the actual vehicle in the movie, I would have rather received a set like the Home One Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. There's so many vehicles in the Star Wars universe that we've never gotten before. So when LEGO starts to rehash sets like this, especially at such a large price point, it's a little bit disappointing considering we haven't got all these other vehicles that a lot of fans would want to have in their collections. But again, that is just my opinion. Taking a look at the box art here, it does look like they're going to be sticking with the same box art that we had for the UCS Millennium Falcon. I guess this is going to be the Ultimate Collector Series box art from now on. And I'm not complaining at all, this is a really nice box art. It looks really simplistic, professional, and represents the Ultimate Collector Series pretty well. We do get to see the Y-Wing in the trench run here. The ship itself has a lot of detail, especially around the middle portion of it, which has a lot of greebling with a bunch of brown and light gray pieces. One thing I found a little bit odd about this vehicle, I think it's just from this angle, but the ship kind of looks a little bit too wide in my opinion. It looks like the two engine pods come out slightly too far compared to the rest of the vehicle. But it only really looks like that from this angle, I don't know why it looks like that from this angle. In every other picture, it looks completely normal. So that is okay, LEGO did a great job representing it here in LEGO form. Now this is an Ultimate Collector Series set, so we don't get too many play features with this. But some of the play features include the rotating turret above the cockpit. You can also open and close the cockpit like usual. And you can also place the astromech droid inside there, which is also pretty cool. One pretty neat thing about this vehicle compared to regular Ultimate Collector Series sets is that this Y-Wing actually has retractable landing gear. I thought this was a pretty cool feature, they didn't really have to include it in this set. And they don't usually include things like this in most sets, but I'm glad that they added it here on this Ultimate Collector Series Y-Wing. The display stand also looks pretty cool as well. It has a spot for both minifigures, which we'll talk about in just a second. I like how it's posed at an angle because it makes the Y-Wing look like it's actually flying. And I can't really see too many details of the spec sheet there, but I'm guessing it's just a bunch of information about the Y-Wing itself. Now speaking of those minifigures, we actually get two of them in this set. One is a Y-Wing pilot, which is actually Gold Leader, so it's actually really nice to see a named character here in this Ultimate Collector Series set. He does look pretty cool, I think the helmet print is unique to this figure. Now I could be wrong on this, but I think the rest of the figure is actually an unoriginal print. I'm pretty sure we've gotten this print with a bunch of other Rebel Pilot minifigures. Especially the head printing here, which is actually an unoriginal print. And it kind of sucks that they did that, considering Gold Leader is an actual named character in the Star Wars universe. I don't know, I think LEGO kind of missed the mark with this figure. Especially since you're paying such a premium price for a set like this. It would have been nicer to see a more exclusive minifigure included in this set. I mean, to be honest, the only exclusive thing about this figure is the helmet piece itself. And I think Gold Leader deserved to be treated better in minifigure form here. But that's going to do it for the Y-Wing pilot minifigure. The other minifigure here is R2BHD, who is an astromech droid. And for an astromech droid, I think this is actually one of the better ones that we've gotten. It's molded all in gunmetal gray and silver. It kind of reminds me of the exclusive Titanium R2-D2 minifigure. The astromech droid's printing is not really anything unique. It's pretty much the exact same printing that we get on R2-D2 and every other astromech droid, except now here it's in silver instead of the regular colors that we get. But that's going to do it for the minifigures in this set. Now one thing that I think this set is actually kind of missing is the ability to drop bombs from this ship, because the Y-Wing is actually a bomber and actually drops bombs. It would have been kind of nice to see an ability to drop actual bombs from the vehicle, but that's kind of me just nitpicking because this is an Ultimate Collector Series model, so we usually don't get play features like that in sets like this. And yeah, overall this is a really great build. A really well done representation of the Y-Wing in Ultimate Collector Series form. It looks very reminiscent to the ship that we got back in 2004, but this one is definitely an upgrade and looks a lot better here. My only flaw with this set is the Goal Leader minifigure and the fact that we got this set in general. I would have liked to see some other vehicles from the Star Wars universe here in LEGO form. But again, that's just my opinion. But also make sure to go down in the comments below and let me know what your opinions are. Let me know if you guys like this set or if you guys want to see something else instead of this. And let me know what you guys think about that Goal Leader minifigure. I personally think that minifigure is extremely underwhelming, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. 
And as always, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest LEGO Star Wars news, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I do a bunch of news videos just like this one. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to do for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.